Hi all and welcome back. So a new video and new use case you can see. Okay. So to, in today's tutorial, we will be looking on one more use case. So consider a scenario uh, you have created one destructive UI action. Means um, with that particular using that UI action, you will be performing certain activity and uh, which can't be rolled back. For example, cancellation of chain, cancellation of something, or uh, closure of certain things out. And what you want to do, keep beep, as soon as you click on that incident, there is, there is a chance that it can happen by mistake and also okay so you want to take a confirmation from the user before means performing that action right so in today's tutorial we'll be try we'll be creating a cancel incident u action okay and what we'll be doing on top of that u action keep when a person clicks on that u action it asks for confirmation from that user whether he really wants to cancel that particular record or particular incident or not. If, so that it would be like two factor authentication before closure or canceling of certain things. This use this is a generic use case, but you can uh, extend the extend the functionality to your own needs, okay, in your own projects. So let's get started. So as always, we'll be using incident table, our favorite table for for the demo purpose. So let's go to the incident. So incident dot list, mm -hmm. and let's open the incident in the new button, new state. So for example, if you want to cancel the incident from the new state, right? So where exactly it went? Okay, I will open it again. It's taking some time. Now till the time I will duplicate the record so that we can go to your action. Okay. So what functionality we want to create a new action on incident form called cancel incident probably. Okay, which will cancel the incident. Pretty straightforward. I will right click, I will go to configure, I will go to U actions, okay. I will be creating a new action. Now I will go to new, I will give it a name called cancel incident. It is on incident table, I will give it an action name as cancel underscore incident. Active TTT, I want it as a form button. Form style, it's a destructive, so I will give it a destructive on client, definitely on client. Any other thing? No, no. On click, what we'll be doing? I on click, I will create a function. Which function? I will be cancel incident. Let's define a function cancel incident. Cancel incident. Right? We will go to condition. Condition. Let's let's put a condition. I want it to be visible only on new state. So what condition I can give? Mm -hmm. I will go to the state choices. Show choices. Show choice. So we'll look for cancel of the cancel is full. Okay, sorry, I have had incident. People are keep on playing around this. So I don't know what the current value. So new is one and cancel is eight. Perfect. So we'll follow this only. I'll go back and we'll give. Current dot state equal to equal to equal to one. New is one only, right? Yeah. Now this is done. We'll save it out and see if the button is visible or not. We should always go in a step by step manner rather than creating everything and then 
just trying to why exactly it's not working and all the stupid things, right? So we'll reload the form to see a button. Oh, wow, it looks pretty, right? Cancel incident. If a person is that foolish that after seeing that it's a district you read, okay, alert, then also if we do mistake, we should avoid those mistakes also. So now our button is visible. Now what we can we have to do, we have to define a function called cancel incident. So let's do that. So we'll do I will just expand it out somewhat. So it will be so I will give function can oh sorry, why is not getting function cancel incident and we will give a confirmation box in that so we will give a variable answer equal to confirm right confirm and i can give are you sure you wanna cancel this this incident question mark question exclamation exclamation and okay now what we'll be doing if answer answer if answer if answer is true then what we'll be doing gsft Submit. You should not forget this. Okay, submit. And in that what? First parameter I will give it as null. Second one I will give g underscore form dot get form element. Oh, that. Underscore form element. Then the third attribute we have to give it an action name. What's happening with my keyboard? Let's first give this, and then I can give this, and then I can. What is the form action name? I will. Oh, here yeah, where is the form action? First, I think cancel incident. Right? Let's go back. Give it as cancel incident. Right? If if answer is true, then we will execute a function called cancel incident. Means this is your action again on a server side. Else, uh, we will not do anything. So I will do return false. Right. Now we will define our server side code. Okay. Ensure you always uh, call server side code with no browser errors also. Okay. So we will do if type. Oh, if type of window equal to equal to undefined if we don't know the window type then what we'll be doing we'll simply call server close function so server close oh not close we will be cancelling right Server cancel. Now, what this particular server cancel will do? I will give you a semicolon so I can't see that warning. <clears throat> and now we will define a function. Server cancel. So in this what we'll be doing current dot state equal to what was that 
8 right 8 and then we will simply go to current not current dot update I think it should work fine let's verify it once so basically what we are doing as soon as the button is clicked we are just giving a confirm box okay like are you sure you want to cancel the ACNC there if they give yes then we again execute the server set code if they say no then okay fine we know it's mistake can happen so we'll not do anything and we'll stay on the phone if it's yes that means if it's true then what we are doing we are calling a function called server cancel okay and in server cancel what we'll be doing date will be changing it to 8 pretty straightforward right let's save it out and let's refresh the form why to refresh the form because we have client side components also in our script so now a person came he by mistakenly click on this cancel and it gave a message are you sure you want to cancel an incident this incident no I don't want to cancel this incident fine so we will not do anything if you again come and if you click on this one, are you sure you want to cancel this which is incident or it happened by mistake again no no I want to cancel this incident and as soon as you click on the cancel uh, it redirected boom it cancelled that particular incident out pretty easy right so you can use this logic whenever you are creating some destructive function you action okay so basically whenever uh, whenever you are creating some destructive action so you should validate it from the user you should take confirmation from the user that do we really want to do that okay if it says yes then yeah you can you can you can go ahead right so this is all for today's use case okay hope you find it useful and you start implementing your destructive buttons like this okay please like follow subscribe to my channel to get this kind of videos in the future also till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you